Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out at the 2022 SEMA show, and man, what a great event this year. I shot a ton of features out there, and Friday I was just trying to get some under the hood shots when all this started to happen. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, one of the side-by-sides, electric side-by-sides, decided to melt down sitting right there in the middle of the booth, so I got some exciting footage of that, and uh, I'll do some voiceover, kind of give you an idea of what's going on, but man alive, this could change things for sure. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. So this is just some cell phone footage that a friend of mine, Randy, had taken. He was on his way to the bathroom when all this broke out. This is Friday again. You know, this thing was just sitting in the booth. There was no warning, nothing. It just started. And them doors in the back, you have to understand, those things are huge. And they're electronic. So they only open so fast. Man, it could have been so much worse. And then I really felt terrible because there's people on the other side of that building, you know, out in front, and they're out there looking at a burnout contest or something, so they're not even aware of all this toxic smoke. Now, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the fire department was around the other side because I don't know, but I, I hope some way that they were made aware of that. That wasn't just tire smoke that was filling the air. And this went on for, it started around one o'clock and it was out by three o'clock. So it went on between, you know, what, almost two hours. It took for it to finally stop smoking. Fire department, you see I've edited a sub. I probably had 30 minutes worth of video, 45 minutes worth of video. So I tried to cut to the parts that I thought you know would be interesting or at least to get you to the end without watching it all because a lot of it was just one huge smoke bomb like you have never even imagined a smoke bomb and then one cell would go out and then the next one would short and at the end of the video I have a conversation between the I believe the person whose booth the vehicle was in and a representative from SEMA or from the convention center and they're talking about it and again I was just going in to shoot some like under hood shots so I didn't even put my good microphone on and I apologize but um, yeah, I got what I got and yeah, I think y'all be able to get the gist of their conversation and their concern. Now the fire department has shown up and you see they get out of the truck and they're all masked up and one of them takes and hits it with a fire extinguisher here. And soon after that you'll see him walk back to the truck and I don't know if he'll be able to read his lips or not but basically what he says is I can't put this out. Appears when he does hit it with the fire extinguisher at first, it seems like, yeah, all right, that's calmed it down, but uh, it was short lived, it came right back. And you know, you hear these things, but to actually be involved in it, it's just, yeah, it's not as rare as I thought it was. There's not like thousands of these that were inside SEMA. There was a bunch, I'll say that, but there wasn't, you know, they didn't outnumber the gas vehicles. Anymore. To my understanding, it was not plugged in, it was just sitting in the booth, and it started to, started to smoke. And luckily, people reacted fast enough to get it out, out in the parking lot, as you can see. So this was happening inside, oh my goodness the air conditioner was running millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of cars and fine finishes being covered in whatever that is and I, I can't imagine it would be good for it Thank you. 
I worked hard to stay away from it. I had walked up on a tar fire a couple years back <laughs> and learned my lesson that you don't get any video because of all the smokes in your face. And hopefully you don't die too. So, and what an afternoon. I wasn't expecting this. I don't think anybody was. Yeah, maintain this. Yeah. Does anybody know whose part that is? And I can the next, like I said, in the next clip here, um, this is a conversation that is that I'm standing next to between the person who I believe was the representative of the booth, not owner of the vehicle, but representative of the booth the vehicle was in, and a SEMA representative. And again, I apologize, the audio is not crystal clear, but it, I got what I got. And uh, anyways, here you go. Hey, does anybody know who this is? Anybody know who's this?
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.